you know, see my crazy hair, my crazy mane, no makeup. I feel and look disgusting because I am just... And I was try like I'm so tired. I was trying to adjust the camera lighting and the, the settings, and I was trying to get this shirt to show up because I thought I was wearing a gray or blue shirt. I don't know why. And I realized it's a black shirt, and so I was adjusting based on a black shirt. And I was like, "You idiot!" Huh? Uh -uh. Alrighty, hey guys. It has been a while since you've seen me and since I've actually been in here to record a video. Um, my week, my past couple months have been crazy. I think I've said that before. If anyone's following like my Instagram or uh, Facebook or anything like that, or my, my Twitter, you guys would know that my life has been kind of up and down, kind of crazy lately. A lot of things have happened and no, I'm not about to just gripe about stuff in my life for a video. That's not what I, that's not what I'm going to do, but I'm going to talk about, it's relevant to what I'm going to talk about. I promise you. Uh, so I'm just going to go down the list real quick. Uh, got into a wreck. Uh, car's fine. It still runs, but one side of it is just kind of like nasty and gnarled. Had to take some, take a piece of metal off, just, you know, a fender off just so I can open the passenger side door. So we're still deciding whether or not we're going to replace the car or just fix it. And that's a lot of money. Uh, yes, I had insurance, but still it's, you know, I don't know if it's going to cover it. And then, uh, I've been finished, uh, finished a, a big long spree of uh, huge projects. You know, I mean, there was basically every single night after I was up till like four to seven o'clock in the morning I would as I'm going to as I'm leaving the studio and as I'm going to bed I would get flooded with more emails and more messages asking me to do more work and just insane and then uh visited some family and some friends and I gotta I gotta do that again this week fortunately I don't gotta take my roommate to work uh this upcoming week because he's um, he's off the whole time. I, uh, I've been trying to exercise. That's another thing that's been going on. And so I've been trying to work out at least, be on the treadmill for at least an hour. Normally I'm doing like an hour and a half. And uh, since December I've actually lost I think like 20 pounds. So I'm feeling a little bit better. Uh, but the problem is, is like a little bit of stretch before the workout and then shower after. That's about two, two and a half hours uh, depending on how long I work out, out of my day. And, I mean, two hours is already spent, you know, driving my roommate up to his job and then, you know, driving back and then driving up there to get him and drive back. So, you know, that's four and a half hours already taken right there. And then if you've been following my Instagram, I'm trying to get some art going because I'm planning on getting into web comics. And the reason for that is is because there's a lot of projects that I've written so many things. I've written so many parodies and original IP and so many uh, dramas, comedies, this and that. And there's a lot of those projects that um, cannot be funded for animation or cannot be funded for live action. And so the easiest course for some of them is to become webcomics. And at first, going into this, there was an understanding that there was going to be someone to help me pull this off, and then that person basically stopped being available. And so now, you know, I'm, I've already been writing a good chunk, chunk of that and trying to do a lot of the art, and that's not really my thing, but still trying to see if I can make this happen. Probably the first thing I release is going to be like a burner project, so I don't know how successful it's going to be. Uh, like I said, doing writing, uh, there was, uh, I mean, there, there's been a big boom on the Let's Play channel, uh, almost making about as many subscribers in the past couple months as we did the entire previous year. So hoping that that might actually be a successful investment. And so I've been trying to, and th that's a video every single day. That's a video that we have to upload with a thumbnail and everything every single day. 
I've had more clients um, ask me to do uh, reviews, and one of them I actually did uh, shot the review and tried editing it, but there was an issue with the footage, so I have to do that all over again. There's another product that I have to review. Uh, I got some uh, acting auditions from my agent. I've gotten so many emails for auditions and for work, more than just on Fiverr. I, you know, uh, am trying to find time to get back with uh, someone for coaching. There, uh, there are some some big projects and some small projects for this channel that I'm trying to edit, and one of them I'm hoping that I get you know some time to shoot, and then. Uh, it's, it's just been crazy. Uh, random people have had health problems. Random family members have had issues. And I've been stretching myself too thin. Now six minutes-ish in to this video. Now we're going to cover the topic. Uh, I've been stretching myself too thin. And it's something that I, that I can't really change. I can't, not, not at this point. It's something that I can't really let go is being kind of a jack of all trades, kind of, uh, you know, everywhere. Uh, as a voice actor, I'm a utility guy, which means that, you know, they someone they just need a role or they, they need a voice to fit a random character that may or may not come back. A lot of background, but, you know, not just extra work, more filler. You have the main cast and then you have, you know, like if you watch... Family Guy. There's always those like four or five voice actors that do all the regular human beings on on the show. That's kind of more or less my kind of role in a lot of the stuff that I do. And then there's also like large projects or large shows that not too large, but you know, as as in like long running. Uh, shows that I do, you know, a whole bunch of characters for. Even if they're main characters, I do a whole bunch of characters. So, as far as voiceover, I'm already stretching myself really thin by being someone who is marketing himself as someone who can fill a lot of roles. Which is working out for me because it is something that I can do. And it is something that I, you know, am well known for. It is something that a lot of people appreciate. It is a lot of, something that a lot of people pay me good money to do. However, uh, again, it's stretching me out. It's wearing me out. Because if I'm working with a lot of different clients and I do, some of them I do like 10 characters per show, and I do that for multiple clients, I'm, I'm working my voice going up and down, doing kid characters, doing, you know, big burly characters, doing, you know, crazy high pitch characters, old ladies, old men, you know, Younger, younger guys, I'm, you know, a lot of different accents and I'm working this out. I'm getting tired. And sometimes it is hard for me to keep track in my head what voice I've done for someone else. And every single project, I always, you know, every, every time I have the script, I always have to go into my files and I always have to go back and listen to, you know, the character, what he, what he sounded like when I first started doing it to try to get, you know, back into the swing of things, which I recommend that you should do anyway. But, you know, even if it's a character that I've done a lot for them, because I do so many characters for so many different people, I just have to be sure. I, I can never guarantee myself that I, that I was like, I, this is a character for them, right? I have done this character for them, right? I'm not thinking of someone else. So that happens a lot. Um, you know, shows like Cartoon Hooligans, where I do a lot of voices, um, because that's, that's what I'm known for. Now, the good news is, is that I have let a lot of things go and kind of fall to the wayside. Things like stand-up comedy. I don't really do stand-up comedy anymore, which is kind of a bummer because I enjoyed doing stand-up comedy. I enjoyed doing stand-up comedy. The modern political spectrum on all sides, on all whatever. There's not a topic that you can talk about that isn't basically ruined or won't be offensive. Uh, the one of the, the last few shows that I did, which basically cemented in my mind that I should quit this, I, my entire set, a 30-minute set, was all talking about me. How short, goofy-looking, weird, fat, dumpy I am. Uh, just all jokes about me. And a group of women 
in the front, like one of the last shows, I just, I can see it so clearly because it upset me so much, got offended that I was making fun of myself. And it got to a point where it was like, well, if I can't make a fun of me, and I'm the only one who would get offended by that, that I, I can't do this anymore. So I had to give up comedy. And fortunately, that did free up a lot of time and a lot of stress and a lot of headaches. Um, and I don't market myself for doing commercial work. I get very little commercial work, uh, commercial narration, audiobook, that kind of stuff. I get very little of that. And I've pretty much stopped even making those demos. Uh, if anyone asks for my commercial narration demo, I just send them my old one. I, you know, whatever. Uh, people do come to me. They still hire me. They still pay me to do that kind of work. But I don't market for it. There are other uh, ideas and projects and people that I worked with that I've kind of... I, I haven't really cut ties with them completely, but I'm not actively pursuing continuing working with them. Um, there's just a lot of stuff like that that you know I have been able to move to the side. However, when it comes to things like art, hand-drawn art, digital art, stuff that... I don't, I'm not really all that good at, but it's something that I can't get rid of because, or can't let, you know, just be ignored because it's something that I need regularly. I'm always having to make thumbnails. I'm always having to, you know, do logos and banners for myself. It's part of my marketing. I always need to keep that around. So it's not something that I can get rid of. Also, in order for me to pursue some of these lines of character and animation voiceover, I basically I, I need to create things that are going to catch people's attention, and that's going to not just require the voice, but it's also going to require the visuals. And so I'm having to create some of my own content that's original that I can use as showcase for voiceover. And that's one of the big projects that I'm trying to work on, but it's, it's not something that I really feel confident in. And it's something that's really stressing me out. Uh, also recently, only, only yesterday did I, I, I say that because it's two forty four in the morning. Um, yesterday was the first day in like four days where I actually got like over eight hours of sleep. <laughs> I've been insane. I've been losing my mind. Um, what else? Uh, who cares? The, who cares about the other things? The point is, is that I've been stretching myself really, really thin. And it's something that I've already started. I started doing in, in my career. Acting, voice acting, stand-up comedy, art, digital editing, video, video editing, um, or image editing, you know, for like photos. And then, you know, video editing, doing things like... Uh, I guess the impressions would be something else that's in a different avenue because I was trying to do videos just on impressions. The YouTube channel, YouTube channels, multiple. Uh, uh, what else? Uh, singing, is, singing is garbage. Who cares about that one? <laughs> that's nothing anymore. And just a lot of different things. Oh, writing. Writing was also another one. Oh, and uh, uh, on-set sound being an onset sound guy. Those were also things that I was trying to get into. And a lot of these things, yes, I made lots of money and I made lots of connections and I appreciate all the experiences. I enjoyed all the experiences and everything that I got to do doing every single one of these things. But being a jack of all trades will absolutely hamper you. It will absolutely tear you down. You can be a jack of a lot of trades, but don't be a jack of all trades when it comes to entertainment and when it comes to performing and acting and stuff like that. You really need to hone in on the few handful of things that you do really, really well, that your career and your life will benefit from. Don't do like what I did and try to take on everything because I wasted a lot of time and a lot of energy and a lot of money trying to pursue different avenues that ended up not really being all that fun or all that fruitful. And I probably could have made a lot more headway should I have focused solely on character 
animation and video game voiceover. If I just literally ignored all the rest of the stuff. Now, you're going to need a variety of skills. You are going to need a variety of skills. Writing, acting, editing, not just the performing arts. Because you're going to need those things for creating your own demos, creating your own website, creating your own promotional material, communicating effectively with clients, fixing and writing copy sometimes. So you're going to need a variety of things, but don't market yourself for all of the things like I did because you're going to end up stressed out and you're going to end up tired and there's going to be a lot of things that are just going to lose quality because of your exhaustion and because of how few hours you have in the day. And that's something that I started to notice very recently. And it was starting to stress me out. Still kind of does. I have been able to get some momentum back, you know, keep the ball rolling a little bit. But I already know that there are a few clients that I've lost because I was losing sleep. I was getting irritable. And I wasn't able to perform the way that they wanted. One of them, I'm not too upset about. They, they weren't going to pay me really what I was worth and what the projects were worth. And they wanted me to, this is, some, this is a side note. They wanted me to completely voice match a different voice actor's performance. And... I already told them at the beginning that I wasn't going to do that, that I could do something similar, but it would be my performance. And they agreed to that. But then, as we got going, every revision that they wanted was more and more wanting me to just completely voice match the other voice actor, which there's two reasons I won't do. One is principle. If they want... and. The, the previous guy, it was fine. The audio quality was fine. He did a good job for what you know they were, he was given. And, you know, it's fine. If y'all want the characters to sound exactly the same, go back to the, the same voice actor. Just go back to the same voice actor. You want to hire a different voice actor, you're going to get different voices, even if they're just slight. And another reason that, you know, that should be a thing that, you know, I... If you come to me, I'm not going to copy that other voice actor's performance. I'm not going to perfectly copy his voices. Number one, I can't. I can't physically do that. You know, there's there's some people that can do voice matching for actors, and that's their natural voice. Very rarely can someone completely voice match a character that someone does. I mean, you see on YouTube a lot of times where people do impressions. Um, I think... Uh, uh, Cleveland from Simpson. There's a guy who d does an amazing impression of of Cleveland, who's taking over as the character from from this moment on. That's an exception, but normally that's not really something that people do. I mean, if you look at every single version of Daffy, Bugs Bunny, they vary. They vary slightly. They all kind of have similar themes and they you know have repeating um, characteristics, but they all kind of do their own thing, just ever so slightly. And that's how it should be. Every single actor is going to kind of want to do their own thing, even if it's just slight. It's They have different vocal cords. They have different energy. They have different performing levels, different energy levels, different levels of skill. Let them do their own thing. And so if I lose that client, it's totally fine. So I'm saying all that to say this trying to wrap up for you guys because rambling is I mean it's I mean it's one of the seven deadly sins don't stress yourself out yes you're probably not going to see a lot of progress with one of these things that you do at the beginning and to try to fill a void you're going to want to tackle more things and it is okay to try to do that however you do need to understand that there is a point when you are going to have to let a lot of these things go. You're going to have to let a lot of these just disappear. You can't pursue all the things. Being a jack of all trades is a fine thing to find yourself in a position of, but it's not a fine thing to try to become that. Don't aim for being that. You want to find something that you 
do better than all the rest, and you want to nail that. You want to market that, and you want that to be the thing that you're known for. Me, it's character voices. It's character voices, video game, animation. That's what people know me for. You know, people don't know that I that I do coaching. People don't know that I'm a writer. People don't know that I do editing for video and audio. People don't really know that I'm an artist. And that's fine. The the voiceover is the thing that I do the most. In fact, there's a lot of people that don't even don't even know that I did comedy. Uh, there's a lot of people that don't even know that I'm an actor, which I mean, every single voice actor should and is an actor on some level. At least the good ones are. Um, there's a lot of people that are like just getting into voiceover that just got the equipment. They're probably not actors yet. Not quite. Give them a little while to probably get there. But there's a lot of things that people don't know about, and that's fine. The problem is, recently, I tried to tackle basically all those things. And it almost killed me. <laughs> it, almost, it almost just blew me in half just because it was so much to try to tackle at one time. And so that's why videos were kind of late. I still didn't even do a thumbnail for the, the website video. I still didn't even do a thumbnail for that one. Just because after I uploaded, after I put in the information, I went right to sleep. I don't even remember <laughs> hitting hitting upload or whatever, but apparently I did. Um, but yeah, so I'm back. Hopefully I can get some, some videos and some content up that you guys will enjoy. I'm going to try to do more uh, bad voiceover review and also bad voiceover fixing. I think that's pretty good. Uh, doing a video on how to dub from home. That's something that I'm doing. That's going to be one of the next projects. And hopefully I can make some headway on these larger projects that I've been trying to get done for a couple of years. So uh, that's it. Um, thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Totally fine. Subscribe if you're new. Bell for notifications and leave down in the comment section below. Like to see me cover any other topic. Ask any questions. Go for it. And I have my email in the description if you want to contact me personally. Just because, you know, you don't want to leave anything that's too personal down in the comment section. Totally fine. And until next time, peace.